Hey everybody, uh, what's up? JS here. I just wanted to take a minute of your time and talk to you about something. A uh, couple of months back, I made a switch from using Promark for 30 years. I switched over to Big Firth. Uh, nothing against Promark, great stick. Just for me, for personal tastes, for my playing. Uh, Big Firth felt better and I, I used the 5A NVG. The VG is the Vic Grip, this material right here. What happened when I started playing with these sticks, I, I started noticing I was getting better control between my, my thumb and forefinger. Um, and then I started thinking back about to, to people I've worked with and taken lessons from in the past. You know, when I studied with Dom Famula, or his, his thing was, you know, arms around the bottle, slight curvature to wrist, and, you know, just popping up your wrist. We're going to have lessons on this at another time. That's not what I want to talk to you about right now. But I started thinking back, and I started thinking about, about they talk about bounce off the pad and stuff, but no drum teacher ever, ever, ever actually sat down and discussed with me what I started figuring out for myself when I started using these sticks. Um, and it was this. That right there. That little wiggle between my thumb and my forefinger. So just think when you were like a kid and you played with a basketball, you bounced the ball outside. If you had your hands way up here and you had such a great distance, it was bum, bum, bum. But if you brought your hands close, you'd get bum, 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 bum. So I started thinking about that with the snare, with just these fingers and this. My hand is just open. So I'm just sitting here just playing with these two fingers, no bounce, no nothing. I'm sorry, I'm looking over at the screen to to make sure I have a good position for you to see. Um, I'm sitting here just bouncing, just using these, okay? Once I bring one finger, my middle finger, once I bring that into it, I can get more of a great bounce. So what I've started doing is I've just started exercising with both my hands. So I want you to keep in mind and think of it like this. The, the wider, the looser the grip between these two fingers, the more spaced out your notes are going to be. The tighter, the quicker. Loose, tight, loose, tight. I'm not using my wrist. I'm not using any fingers. I'm wiggling the stick, for God's sakes, between these two fingers. So what this is going to do when you develop this, you're going to be able to take this and incorporate this into your playing. You're going to use less energy. Your playing is going to get more precise because you're actually really detailing your, your notes with your fingers. You're feeling every note, um, literally feeling every note. So, so practice that five minutes a day for one week. Just like that, point your finger and thumb, switch over and do it with your other hand. Again, five minutes a day for one week. Practice this little wiggle, and then send me an email here on Facebook next week, or, you know, a week after you start, and let me know how it's gone for you, and I'll make another video, uh, you know, about this, and we'll get into much more detail uh, about it. But that's all for now. That's all I want you to do. That. Both hands on your pad, off your pad, in the air, on your pad, on a pillow, on your leg. Okay? So until next time, everybody be good, be good to each other, take care of yourselves, namaste.